He, he became compassionate by allowing the suffering that he was feeling, how that bonded to the suffering and the alienation of others. Well, we have, you know, within our culture, the saying that, you know, to walk in somebody's moccasins, uh, to walk in their shoes, to see the world from their perspective. I think somehow that is what is absolutely essential, um, that we can have some uh, non-defensive involvement in somebody else's experience. One of the things that I think is happening in our society today is that people are led to compassion, not just by befriending uh, a gay couple and bringing them into your family or life, that's wonderful it can be, that can happen. But we're also educated and challenged by film, by uh, television stories. I'm thinking right now with the, uh, um, this horrible war in Ukraine, that something very powerful is happening to us. because this is not reading the diary of Anne Frank or something else of having black and white photos of the atrocities of the Second World War or hearing it from grandparents. This is watching it on television, that this woman, or this couple that we saw alive one day, we, they were shot the next day. I've seen that twice now uh, in some of the new and some of the reporting. Um, we see, we see the town being obliterated and the people running out with just a, a, a grocery bag of, of, their, of their possessions. I think what it is doing, it, it's, it's helping us to really enter into their lives, into the suffering of other people. Because, unfortunately, for many of us watching the TV program, we are white people. Watching white society looks very much like us. They have coffee shops, they have supermarkets, they have uh, fire departments, they have nice apartment buildings, they've got parks, they've got museums, and they're all being blasted into the Stone Age. And we see that before us, is that when we watch TV tomorrow, will this town be destroyed? How, how, and it, it's leading us, I think, into um, a participation with the suffering of other people contemporaneously. It's not reading history, it's being part of the struggle right now. We are privileged in that we're not, we, we watch the TV, we turn off, and then we go to a comfortable bed that night and get up for a breakfast and coffee in the morning. Whereas the other people, they go to sleep down in a bomb shelter and they come out and some people get blown away in a bread line. Francis was led to compassion, not by going away to a biblical scholar, a biblical class on uh, reading the letter of James and, and the prophet Osi, uh, Amos, but he, he, he became compassionate by allowing the suffering that he was feeling how that bonded to the suffering and the alienation of others. And that is where that, that permanent bond uh, developed with the poor. Somehow, if we can see our, and experience our own suffering, our own sense of alienation from whoever it is that we feel alienated from, and we can then enter into the alienation and the suffering of other people, that is an amazing gift.